What a beautiful, beautiful birthday party you guys gifted me. I had my birthday this week, and you came together to celebrate with a beautiful Fabrengen at the Anasazi Hotel. And about 56 of you came together to wrap to fill in. I want to make a special shout out to my daughter, Cyril, for arranging and encouraging everybody to come together, say a prayer, put on tefillin in honor of my birthday. That was this past week. During the Fabrengen, which we had with a rabbi from New York, Rabbi Butman, who spoke about the Kabbalah of joy. How do you become joyful? How do we have more meaning in our lives to focus and to have purpose and accomplishment and have the joy? Part of the discussion we had was from this week's Torah reading. Fascinating story. Joseph is sold by his brothers. We know the famous story with his brothers who were envious of him and they sold him into slavery to Egypt. When he comes to Egypt, he serves his master and it was very successful. And then his master's wife slanders him and creates a libel against him and he's put into prison in Egypt. Slavery after slavery. But he's always focused and he's always thanking God for life and being the most successful person he possible, possibly can, helping people and serving people in the prison. The butler and the baker of the Pharaoh are thrown into prison as well and they're suffering for a year and he's serving them and helping them. One day he sees that they are sad and he comes over to them and he asks them, Madua pneichem ra'im hayom? Why is your face downcast today? Why are you sad? The question itself is so bizarre. What do you mean, why are you sad? We're sitting in prison over a year. We did nothing. We had a mistake. Something, a fly fell into the Pharaoh's cup. Everybody forgot about us. Why are you happy? Your brother sold you into slavery. You're here. You've been accused. There's no hope for you. What kind of question is that? Madua pnechem ra'im ayayim. But Joseph says, even in such a dire situation, one should still have hope. And Joseph asked him, tell me, tell me, I see something is bothering you. That sensitivity, that question that he asked for them, helped him and guided him to become free and become the viceroy of Egypt. The story was, he asked them, why are you so downcast? And they tell him that we had a dream. And each relate to the dream, we not, don't know what the dream means. And Joseph says, God will give us the answer to your dreams. And Joseph's interprets the dream through a prophecy. One is going to be put back to his position to, in Pharaoh's court, and one is going to be hanged. And this is exactly what happened a few days later. And because of that, later on, the butler remembers Joseph in prison, and he tells the Pharaoh that he knows an interpreter in the prison, and Pharaoh asks Joseph to interpret his dreams, and we know the rest of the story becomes, he makes him second to the king. What triggered all that? That Joseph's sensitivity, asking another person, if you see somebody who's downcast, ask them, go over to them, ask them, why are you so sad? Maybe they can help you. Even maybe you could share something with me. Maybe I could help you unload your burden. May we have the joy, the connectivity, the, the concern for another human being, and that will be the greatest redemption. Sunday is the first eve of Hanukkah, the light of Hanukkah. We're going to be celebrating at a plaza at 3 o'clock. We have a great program, 3 o'clock in a plaza. Make sure you have the candles, the oil to light the candles of a menorah, to light the lights of a menorah, and remember to continue shining that light. Shine the light on yourself, shine the light around us, and we all have a bright, beautiful Hanukkah. Shabbat Shalom and Hanukkah Sameach.